Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make this Christmas tree decoration. And this decoration it just uses two colours, the green and the brown. So we've got some green yarn and this is a DK light worsted weight yarn. And we're going to be using a brown yarn for the base. Um, you could also use red if you wanted to. And uh, this is actually a chunky, bulky weight yarn, so it's thicker than the green yarn. And we're going to be using a 3.5mm crochet hook. And we're also going to need a yarn needle and a pair of scissors. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so we want to take our green yarn and our 3.5mm crochet hook. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain six. So we do our slip knot. And then we're just going to chain six. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then what we want to do is we want to slip stitch into our first chain. So we just put our hook through our first chain, like so. Bring our yarn through and then just work a slip stitch like so and that forms a loop so in the centre of that you should see a little hole. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain eight after that so let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And then what we want to do is we want to do a yarn over. So we're going to work a double crochet. And we're going to work five double crochets into that hole that we created when we made a loop. So finding where your little hole is from when you chained um, six and then slip stitch into your first chain. We're going to put our hook through that center and we're going to work a double crochet like so. And we're going to do five of those. So that's one. It's going straight back into the center. Two. Back into the center. Three. Four. And five. like so. Okay, so you've got your chained eight chains there and then you've worked five double crochets into that centre loop there like so. And what we're going to do now is we're going to chain five. So we'll do one, two, three, four, five like so. And we're going to work another five a double crochet into that centre again. So we we'll do yarn over our hook through the middle and just work five double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then once you've done that, you may just want to move your work so you can get enough space to work into that centre. We're going to chain another five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, like so. And then we're just going to work a four double crochet into the centre. So that's one and two, three, three and four. Sorry about the background noise. <laughs> um, 
Okay, so when you've done that, you've done just four double crochet this time. What you want to do is you want to slip stitch into the third chain of your initial eight that you did. So you want to find your third chain. So there's our first one there, second one, and our third one. And we want to work a slip stitch into that third chain of eight. And this will join our rounds. Because those first three chains count as a double crochet. Then of course the other five, which make up the eight, are the same as these ends. And there you go, you can see the beginnings of your triangle shape appearing like so. Okay, so when we finish that first round, what we're actually going to do is we're just going to work a slip stitch in the next two um, chains of those eight. So you find the next chain. So you've just slip stitched into the third chain. You want to find the next chain, which would be the fourth, and you just want to work a slip stitch into there as well. Like so. And then you want to work another slip stitch in the next chain as well, so the fifth one. And what this does is this brings our work to the top of the triangle. If I can find that stitch. So there we go, and that, that brings our work up to the top of the triangle. And then what we want to do is we want to chain eight again. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work a double crochet, two double crochets actually, into this gap here. So where the, uh, the next two chains are, we're going to work a gap. Um, we're going to work the two double crochets into that big space. We just literally put a hook right for that big space and work two double crochets. So there's our first double crochet and then our second in that gap as well. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work a double crochet in these five stitches along here. So in each double crochet along. So we're going to find that first one which is there right on the corner. Put our hook through there. And we're going to work a double crochet into that stitch. And then we're going to work a double crochet into the next four stitches. So it's one, two, three, And four, like so. And then we're going to work two double crochet into the end gap there, into that five chain space. Two double crochet in there. So there's one and two. So it looks a little something like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now we're going to do the same along here. We're going to work two double crochet into that gap there. So what you're technically doing is working two double crochet, five chain, two double crochet into that five chain space at the end. Then we're going to work um, a double crochet in the next five stitches. So we're going to go straight into that stitch on the corner there. Work a, a double crochet in there. Then we're going to work a double crochet in the next four. Two. Three and four. Now that brings us to the next corner, the next space, five chain space. And in there we're going to work two double crochet, five chain, two double crochet again. So we do two double crochet straight away into that gap. So that's one and two. 
and then we're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do another two double crochet into the same gap. So that's one and two, uh, one and then two. Ahead of myself there, like so. And that brings us to the next lot of double crochets in the previous row. So we're going to do a double crochet in each of those next five stitches. So we find that one on the corner there and do a double crochet in there. So that's one. And then we're going to do one double crochet in the next four. Sorry about the background noise. One, two, three. And the last one, four. Like so. And then what we're going to do, when we get to this last gap here, we're just going to work one double crochet in there. Because we chained eight at the beginning of this round. And the first three of those chain eights are going to count as a double crochet. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch into our third chain of eight. So we find the first chain, second and the third. So you just put your hook straight into that third chain of eight. And that completes that round as well and you can see that's just made the triangle bigger and then what we're going to do is the same as we did before we're just going to work a slip stitch in the next two chain to get our work at the top so we just go straight into the next chain and work a slip stitch like so so there's one I say like so too much <laughs> There's one and two, and that brings our work to the top, ready for our next round. Okay, okay so moving on to the next round, it's a very, very similar method um, as to the second round. And what we're going to do, we're going to chain eight like we did before. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight and then again we're going to work two double crochet into that top gap there so you put a hook straight for that big gap and just work two double crochet so that's one and two and then this time instead of working one double crochet in the previous five we're going to work one double crochet in the previous nine, I think it's nine, two, four, six, eight, nine, yes. So it's one double crochet in the next nine stitches. So we're going to find that one on the corner, which is going to be our first one. And then just work one double crochet into uh, each one, each stitch along. Can't get my words up. So you've got nine, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, which should bring you to the opposite corner and the gap there, the five chain space there. And into there, we're gonna work two double crochet, five chain, two double crochet, just like we did for the previous round. So we go, put our hook straight for that big gap and do two double crochet. And then we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, Five, and then we're going to do two double crochet again into that big space. 
so that's one and two which then brings us to the next edge and we're going to work one double crochet in the next nine stitches again just like we did for this side so find that one on the corner that's our first stitch and do one double crochet in the next nine it's two and nine which brings us to the next five chain space and in there we're going to do exactly the same again we're going to do two double crochet five chain two double crochet so put our hook straight into that big gap and do two double crochet it's one and two get some more yarn and then we're going to chain five one two three four five and again work two double crochet into that big gap and then that brings us to the next row and we're going to work one double crochet in the next nine stitches so we find that one on the corner that's our first and then work one double crochet along the next nine so it's two and the last one nine and that brings us to our last corner back to the beginning and again because we chained eight at the beginning the first three of those chains count as a double crochet so we're only going to work one double crochet in that last gap and then we're going to slip stitch into our third chain of our eight so that's one, two, and three. Okay. And then we're just going to work a slip stitch in the next two chains that we've done before, just to bring our work to the top of the triangle. and then we're done so the last one and if you want to make this triangle bigger you can just continue in exactly the same way by chaining eight and then working your two double crochets into the chain spaces and then you're just increasing by four along each edge as you go up so on the next round if you wanted to make it bigger you just do chain eight and then two double crochet then it'd be one double crochet in the next so it'd be 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 um, which will bring you over here and then you do two double crochet, chain five, two double crochet so on and so forth so it's increasing by four um, double crochets each time but what we're going to do now is we're just going to fasten off we're going to leave a little bit of a tail because we want to create a loop and we're just going to bring that our yarn through for now and there's your completed triangle part of the Christmas tree so now we're going to move on to the base okay okay so we're going to be moving on now to work on the little tree stump and we need to make sure that our tail end is at the top this is going to be the top of our tree because we're going to work this tail end into a loop so we can hang it so what you want to do is turn it upside down because we're going to be working along this edge to get our base part like so and what we need to do is we need to find the center five double crochets so you should have 13 double crochets along the bottom here so you want to count in four from the edge so these are the first two so that's one two three and four okay so we're going to be working into the next five double crochets so you need to find that next stitch there you can just put your hook through so that's the uh, one two three four fifth stitch along out of your double crochets okay we're not going to count these chains on the end we're just counting the double crochets so the fifth stitch along we want to introduce our brown yarn and our brown yarn needs to be a thicker yarn than the green yarn and i've used a dk light worsted weight yarn here so i'm using a chunky bulky weight brown yarn here so we've put our hook through that fifth stitch along 
and we're just going to pull our brown yarn through that stitch like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to chain two so that's one and two and that's going to count as our first stitch what we're going to do then is we're going to work some half double crochets and we're going to do one half double crochet in the next four stitches so we do yarn over and go in straight into the next stitch pull our yarn through yarn over and pull through all three loops to complete your half double crochet and we're going to do that in the next four so that's one two three and four so all in all you've got four half double crochets and two chains you should have five stitches all in all and that's the first row of our base and all we're going to do is we're going to chain one but we're not going to count that as a stitch that's just going to be our turning stitch so then we're going to turn our work I'm going to do a yarn over and we're going to work a half double crochet straight into that first stitch there so, like so and then we're going to work one half double crochet in the next three so that's one two and three and then we're going to work one last half double crochet in the top of our two chain so we end up with five half double crochets so just find that top chain from our two chain from the first row hang on a minute we need to do yarn over first don't we that, that does help when you want to do a half double crochet and then we pull our yarn through and then complete our last half double crochet then all we need to do is to fasten off our brown pull our yarn through and then just tighten tail ends like so and that completes the base of our tree so what's left to do now is to tie in these two loose ends okay so what we need to do is we need to thread our one of our tail ends onto our yarn needle I'm going to do this on camera so you can see how I sew it in like so and taking this very last tail end we, we cut last what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put the yarn needle through there and back up through the top of that stitch like so and then that brings the yarn round and it just keeps a more square finish and then I'm just going to hide hide the tail end like so making sure not to pull too tightly and then I just thread along anywhere sure how well you can see this on camera because it's brown it's quite dark I'm going to come back along the opposite direction and then I'm just going to fasten off that should be fine that looks fairly good and then we're just going to do the same going to tie in the beginning of our yarn brown yarn like so I'm just going to make sure that's nicely connected to that edge and I'll come up through the green there a little bit and then bring that down through there put it through there I never worry too much about sewing in neatly unless it's very delicate work um, you just need to make sure that it doesn't come undone so I go through a few stitches and I just come back in the opposite direction that tends to be enough make sure that's nice and tight and then just fasten off there we go that should look a little something like that and all we need to do now is we're going to work our loop at the top end here so we're going to thread this tail end onto our yarn needle and then we're going to come put the yarn needle through the very very top stitch 
like so. I'm going to make sure I'm keeping a loop, and I've been keeping a loop that's about the length of half my finger, like so, back down a little bit. And what I do is I'm just going to go to the back, bring that through again from the back, pull that tight, then I'm going to go the other side of the loop and bring that through again. And I'm going to put my yarn needle through the loop and come through again. Just making sure that's nice and secure, nice and knotted. Then I'm going to move my yarn to the back. And then I'm just going to work it down the chains as neatly as I can. Just so I can get it into the project. Don't pull too, too tightly on this though because you might draw string in the uh, chains. So keeping that loose. We then This then gets it into our main project and we can start hiding our tail end. in our project. So let's put that through a few stitches. And then come back in the opposite direction. I'm trying really hard not to say like so. <laughs> there we go. And then when you've done that we just Fasten off, cut our yarn, making sure not to cut our project. And this very first bit that we started, we can just pull that in a bit. And what I like to do is just thread that onto the yarn needle as well and work that around the circle, beginning circle, just pulling it tight just to make sure it's firmly in place. And we can cut that tail end as well. And there we go, there's our finished tree, almost finished tree. So we've got our little loop at the top. And what I'm actually going to do is, this is the fun part, is we can actually decorate these trees. And what I've done here on some other trees is I've added some little coloured buttons to look like little tree decorations. So you can get you can choose beads or buttons of your choice. And I've actually chosen these tiny little buttons that my mum gave me ages ago. I don't even know where they came from, so I really can't tell you where they came from, I'm afraid. But I've got these tiny little buttons, and what I'm going to do is just sew those onto the tree. And you can use that, You can, like I said, you can use beads or other coloured buttons or bigger buttons. You may even want to crochet a little star for the top. And uh, also, what you can then do when you've finished your, your trees is you can make lots of them like I have and turn them into some bunting, some lovely festive bunting to hang from the fireplace if you want to. So there we go. Okay, so I'm just putting this uh, these decorations together to finish them up to turn them into bunting. And what I'm actually doing is at the very beginning I left quite a long tail in case you want to tie it onto anything. And then I chained 10 stitches and then I've slowly added them and then in between there are 20 chains. So I've just done another 20 chains there. Then we're going to take our next tree and making sure it's facing forward and our loops nice and even. We're just going to put our hook through, bring our yarn round and then just work our next chain. And then that's our first one, so then we do another 19, so 2, 3, 4, 5. And what we do is we bring in our next tree, make sure it's facing forward, this one has little buttons on, put our hook through, and then work our next chain, 20 chains. So that's 1, 2, 3, and then just continue in this way until you've used up all the trees that you want to add to your bunting and then I'll come back and show you the finished bunting. Okay, so I've just finished up with uh, chaining just 10 at the end and leaving a long tail and I'm just going to zoom out and you can see the finished Christmas tree bunting. And I hope you enjoyed that rather festive uh, crochet tutorial. 
and um, I hopefully you're enjoying the advent calendar that's going on at my website this is actually a part of the advent calendar so if you have no idea what I'm talking about then do head on over to happyberry.co.uk um, because on the home page you will find an advent calendar where you can open a little door each day to get either a free crochet pattern or a free knitting pattern so um, happy Christmas I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you soon for some more crochet fun thanks for watching love you guys bye